Hi everyone, it's Gloria and I'm back to share some cards that I made um, using sketches and scraps. Um, the first one is you, this one here that I made um, using Mojo Monday Sketch 251 for this week. And um, these three pieces of paper are from my um, scrap bin. Um, the um, craft cardstock um, is not from my scrap um, bin. Um, what I did was I just found three pieces of paper that coordinated and wanted to use those um, in my card. And um, I followed the sketch identically except for when I went to glue on the card front, it was backwards. <laughs> this is what the sketch looks like is this, you know, going this way and these two on this um, right side. And uh, yeah, I glued it on and when I put it on there, my um, ATG adhesive was not very forgiving. So I left it as is. <laughs> um, I used a scallop circle punch um, and a two inch uh, circle punch on this white cardstock. And then I stamped this little um, bird cage and the bird and this little, it kind of looks like just like a little leaf there um, on the side. And that was uh, from a close to my heart stamp. Um, I think it's from a You Are So stamp set, if I'm not mistaken. And then these are from, these are recollections, and um, I just pulled out two out of my stash that matched um, the pattern paper on this side. And then I put some, um, kind of this fuchsia color um, rhinestones in the center, as well as on top of the birdcage there. And then these, uh, the thanks as stickers, as called, they're from Echo Park. They're an alpha sheet of stickers, and I put everything away. I tried to clear off my desk. <laughs> I forgot I should have kept some things handy. Um, I think these are from the, uh, gosh, Day in the Park or something like that. Um, uh, alpha set. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just uh, lined them up and used them, and I love how that looks. And then the inside, I just, um, oh, this one I cry that corner down. Just had some craft cards, uh, cardstock and then just put the last strip of that um, designer paper and it looks like I'm gonna need to <laughs> wish my ATG would have been not so forgiving there, right? <laughs> okay, so that's my Mojo Monday um, card. Then the next one I um, made using um, the MFT um, sketch um, for last week, I believe. So this is um, card I made from using sketch number 81 on the MFT uh, my favorite things um, website and so I get their weekly um, sketches thanks to Anna Anna Fias hey girl um, so this is the card I made for that and for this one I did the craft cardstock and the pink cardstock are from my um, my scraps bin, um, but these are not, and they are actually from, I just was curious to use this, I don't know, it's from the Kane Company Cut and Paste, um, um, matte pad, so it's just a matte, um, four by six photos, um, anyway, I decided to, to use it, and I really liked the, the patterns, this is old, I don't know how long I've had it, but Here's the paper that I used in the back side. And they're all textured, so it's kind of neat. Um, just wanted to use it. It had some really nice, it has some really nice patterns in it. So anyway, so I used that and liked how it all, it was just kind of different um, colors that all actually went together. I liked it. So, um, so I did that, and like I said, this is the reverse of this one. Um, so I followed the sketch identically. The only thing was I used my um, scissors. I used these scissors um, to do the, the border on here. And um, this thanks friend I stamped in Vintage Photo, and I distressed all the papers with Vintage Photo. Um, and this is a Studio G um, stamp. And then this is from a K & Company... Oh geez, um, I think it's like Bohemian something or other um, chipboard um, stickers. So um, it already came just the way it was, nice and sparkly, and with that rhinestone in the center. So I didn't do anything to that. Thought that was kind of cute, and I didn't do anything on the inside. I just kind of left it like that. 
that. Okay, and then lastly I did my, that was last week's MFT um, sketch, and this is this week's, um, this, so this is sketch number 82. Um, and again, these are all scraps. Um, so let's see, so I did, um, I followed the sketch identically. I always wanted to do this, and I don't know why I never did, but <laughs> this time I just figured I would. Um, I embossed in cocoa this thanks, and then I just inked the for um, thanks for everything on there. And I always wanted to do a title going um, vertically, even though the card is to be read horizontally. And, I don't know, I just it was stupid, but I just wanted to do that forever and hadn't, and this seemed like the greatest opportunity to do so. Um, even the ribbon is for my stash of scraps, just um, enough for me to wrap that around and adhere it and then tie this little knot, and it's got kind of a foil edge on that, if you can catch that. But it's super cute, I like how that turned out, and then I just put three um, of these chocolate pearls on the top there, and the um, sentiment is on... Um, pop dots. So it's got some dimension to it. And didn't do anything to the inside, just left simple. So these are my cards with um, that I made with scraps and sketches. Oh, I had to make a series about that. <laughs> scraps and sketches. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to share those with you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.